All right, we are here at the IBJJF Jiu-Jitsu Con and the Masters World Championship. Uh, this is a massive, massive event. More than 10,000 competitors registered, more than 40 mats running throughout the weekend. Uh, we'll have Jiu-Jitsu Con over here that incorporates four different events. We'll have Masters Worlds over there. That incorporates all of the Masters divisions, blue through black belt, Master One, Master 7 and then capping it all off we have later on this week the IBJJF Absolute Grand Prix for $40,000 an eight-man division featuring Nicholas Regali, Victor Hugo, Gutenberg Pereira uh, a, a huge lineup of some of the best in the business but let's take a look around here Jiu-Jitsu Con is so unique it is one of the most astonishing Jiu-Jitsu conventions probably one of the most unique Jiu-Jitsu events in the world there's nothing else like it let's go take a look and see what Jiu-Jitsu Con is all about Working for Origin out here, talking jujitsu, all American made gear and apparel from our jeans, our t shirts, and rash guards and geese, everything grown, sewn, cut here in America. Uh, we're just selling some new merchandise, got some brand new products out here, some never will seen in the marketplace. A couple new fabrics for Noki, a couple new designs for geese, and meeting some fans. People, I love meeting the clients, love meeting the people, love hearing the stories. But you do get a rash guard. What's your size? Uh, XL, please. All right, you got it. So anybody who competes in the Masters Worlds, actually anybody who's at the Masters Worlds, fuck it, come over, Daisy Fresh booth. We're not selling nothing. All we're doing is giving away our time. If there's something you want to work on, you grab one of the guys, any of them, anywhere. They'll come over, work with you on your game, fix your game, flow grappling style. Come over to the booth, Masters Worlds, check us out. We're here with my first Jiu-Jitsu trading card, you know. Back in the day, I used to, you know, write down stuff, like work on my on, on my signature back in school during class. Not knowing, knowing, not knowing one day I would actually need it for like these, you know. I used to collect my own cards and I think it's pretty, I'm pretty happy for this, you know. Not only for me, but I think for Jiu-Jitsu overall. I think every athlete one day should, should have one of those, you know. Over there, over here, you're building your history here on the mats, and it's good for you to have like little pieces, you know, that you can save, you know, stay in your memory and also like physical. The uh, I've been watching him, I, I, I believe you're actually the nearest black belt in the Grand Prix. So, what does this opportunity to perform at this event mean? All right, all warmed up, ready to go. We're headed over to the bullpen now, get ourselves weighed in. On deck here, uh, getting started up in about five minutes, so.
Ended up winning 16-0. On to the next one. Now we get into the uh, the fun rounds. I got one more, and then uh, and then I think it'd be Samir Shantri third. So let's see how far we get. Well, that part is over. Uh, let's get back to work. One and one today. A uh, pretty clean points win, and then a pretty uh, <laughs> pretty clean submission loss as well. So, let's get back to uh, the uh, the big names, the pros. Let's get back to watch these people win. Everybody want to win, of course, but it's different vibe, you know, we don't try to kill each other, we go super hard, but after win and lose, shake hands, hang out after, I love that vibe. It's still serious, it's important for everybody, but like, everybody here is already has established life, you know, we don't, pretty much doesn't care too much, and I love that vibe, it's amazing. quality of a of an opponent is is here. These Master 3s are experienced individuals. They're very tough. Well, I remember my first Master World since I started competing. Act, I started becoming a full-time athlete or a competitor when I was 33. So I was already in the Masters 1. I remember it was in the Pyramid. There was about 10 mats. And I lost, uh, I think, my second match. And uh, what it has grown to become is just like miraculous. You know, it's like amazing what they've created. It's been great, you know, the, the, the brackets are getting bigger every year and uh, the competitors are so much more experienced. And I always tell everyone, if you can only, if you live far away or in another country and you can only make one event a year, this is the one to make, man. This is such a cool event. There's so many people here and the, the whole convention, and the Jujicon and they have the GP. It's a great event, man. The vibes here are super good. Everyone's just here. It's a great networking event. If you guys don't know, your net worth is equal to your network. This is a great networking environment. But one of the coolest things about Jiu Jitsu Con here is the seminars. The seminars running all weekend, almost every hour with uh, with representatives from all the major teams, Alliance, Autos. Right now we're at the GF Team Seminar, which is featuring Gutenberg Pereira, who's also gonna be in the GP a little bit later on this weekend, and uh, Master Julio Caesar. So uh, probably about 30, 40 people here on the mat, all looking to take some tips from uh, two of the, the best. What happened here? The first thing that I can do is my force control. So my like, break is the first layer. That's his guard here. My second goal here is my control. Once I do this, I put my corner is kind of like a neutral position. So I pull this up, look how I put his leg over my leg, and I cup his knee. So I keep pressing him, 
and it's shape. One, two. Once you get here, you have to understand that your partner's going to push you. Once he brought his hand on me, I have to shake his hand and quit fighting. Get him close and get him forward. If I stay high like this and I try to run something off, he keeps me forward all the time. And then I get my. I grab his head, and from here, I do more guys again. So what I think is why my knee is tight. I kind of like ride my knees to the floor, and I can slide it like this. Or I can run like I said first, or just elevate your hip and cross again. Right. Go ahead, let's try again. Let's go. What's your trick? Sometimes I can't even really get over here where I want. Like I'm trying to switch that way. Is there a way yeah. to stop? When I feel like you guys are like pushing me too much, that's the time that I lean over more. So I just, yeah, I just keep leaning. Usually they don't move up like this, they keep here, yeah? So just lean, but I'm um, pushing it down and leaning. Once the knee shield, because this is going to be the, 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 the strong part, once I beat up, I beat the knee shield a little bit, then I can close the room. Or I even just jump to the head. Hi guys, Gabriele Pessanha here. I'm very excited. It's my first seminar here in Jiu Jitsu Kong with my professor. I'm very excited. Like a, like a, like a bird. I don't know what is behind that curtain, but I'm guessing it is pretty interesting. So let's go see if we can get a sneak peek of what uh, Shoei Roll is cooking with here. Yo, we're here at Jiu Jitsu Con. We're doing a little expo with, with IBJJF. We're doing, uh, we got 100 billion galaxies doing an art gallery here. Uh, we have Kenna Capello featuring some photos and stuff from Laurel Canyon, um, releasing a Gi with the Federation. And then we have Jiu Jitsu tapes, the analog version here. So um, we're doing a few things. We got a tape here. Come in, lay down your track on a physical tape. You know, 20 people will kind of get a Walkman, a physical tape, our greatest hits that we've produced. 
and then they're able to come down, lay down their own personal track, and then maybe we'll get it on Jujutsu tapes later on for sure. But that's what we're doing here. Winner gets a uh, rash guard and a gi, and you know, we probably will also do a game after the raffle. Okay. If you're eight and a half and you can land the kickflip first try, you're leaving home with the eight and a half pair. What? So, but yeah. Wait, the, land the kickflip on a skateboard? Yep. Boy, I'm good. Yeah. Oh, Are you eight and a half? Eight and a half. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that middle pair was uh, skate uh, was, was skated by P Rod. Nice. So you can see the different layers, um, blue and the white showing from the different panels. Nice. So th there's more colors underneath each layer of the game, or the, of the shoe. Of the shoe? Yeah, and then the, and then the shoelaces. You can see the different belt ranks along with the stripes. You, you think you could land one? A kickflip? <laughs> How are you? Doing? Good, good. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Love what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, we're doing the live raffle at 1 o'clock. So. All the way over here, other side of the convention center, we have Jiu-Jitsu Con. This is where uh, all the adults, the juvenile competitors, the kids are competing this weekend. So black belts back here, all the, uh, the top level adults. But just spotted out of the corner of my eye here. Back. We're close as a back, they're cool. 